I'm Chris Clevin. Uh, I'm 20 years old. I've just been starting working with Jeremy for about seven months now. Um, I'm a personal trainer. I live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I've been working with Jeremy for quite a while. He's taught me a lot. Um, it's been a really, really long journey. I used to live in South Florida and I was very going through a lot of depression. I was originally going to do bodybuilding. My dad has Parkinson's, so that ended up making us have to move back. And uh, a lot of depressing things happened. I got injured like a month out from doing my first bodybuilding show that I wasn't able to end up doing. I ended up meeting a guy named Brian, and he's also an IFBB pro. He has been a client of Jeremy's for a long, long time. And uh, he introduced me to Jeremy. You know, it's a, it's a long shot, but you might be able to end up working with him. And uh, he immediately texted me back. We started working for seven months, and uh, I went from 238 pounds to... I'm currently sitting at 183. So I, uh, I don't even remember any, ch I've never cheated on my diet with him um, unless he told me to. I never missed one cardio session. Um, the only time I ever took a rest day was if I really needed it and I told him about it. Uh, the amount of knowledge that I've learned, not only me being a personal trainer has taken my gym IQ to a whole nother level. Um, I can help out way more people, which I love to do. Fitness is my inspiration. It saved my life. And uh, you know, it feels good to be able to give back and uh, at such a young age, I just feel like I'm such ahead of the game being able to have and get the opportunity to work with Jeremy. That 1% that mindset, you know, that, that mindset that, you know, you could do what everyone else is doing or you can do the 1% and do more and push yourself and take yourself to the next level and do what you got to do to be a champion because what everyone else is, isn't doing is the stuff that you got to do in order to get there. So if I'm correct, today is the very first time in seven or eight months span that you guys have actually met face to face. This is the first time that we met face to face, yes. So is that complicated or how, did he make it easy? How did that work? So um, at times it could be complicated. Sure. Definitely. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as great as like seeing him in person and being able to have him you know, see my physique. I mean, even today he saw like when, he, when I showed him my abs, he was like, wow, you're a lot more ripped than I thought you were, you know. Absolutely. And uh, we went from there and, uh, you know, it was, there's had some challenges definitely, but I think that we managed to get through it and I think we're, we're going to continue to manage to get through it and take me to the next level. So you guys got the chance today for the very first time to meet each other. Not only that, you got a chance to train with them. How would you, right. how, how was the train? Uh, definitely gave me some pointers that I was definitely looking for that I felt like I was lacking before that obviously with the, uh, being far away, not being able to communicate directly. Uh, definitely gave me that that edge today, so I definitely have some things to work on when I go back. You know, he gave me some great pointers. He was very, very, you know, exactly kind of how I imagined him, and if not even a little bit more, more so positive than I would have imagined, and kind of showed me what it was like to be not just the champion with the work ethic, but also a champion and have that killer mindset, just greeting people, meeting people, you know, what it takes on all ends, you know. I've never had someone be able to take my physique and know over over a picture what to change, what to, what to go off of and, and tell me like, Hey, you're, you're doing this. He looked at a back picture once and saw that I, I was having an issue with one of my, my, uh, my rear delt muscles. Wow. And I went and got deep tissue immediately the next day. I started getting way better contractions. It actually got to the point where my back, he said it was actually a little bit overdeveloped. He knows all these things and he, he sees this all over a picture. I would say, I mean, he's, he's definitely a hardworking person. Uh, he's definitely a character, funny guy, funny guy, definitely someone that uh, can definitely hold a room make it all about him if he needs to yeah, <laughs> take it over if he has to. So, absolutely. and I think that that comes with that champion mindset. I mean, he just, he just has it, you know, and that's where I want to be. That's where I see myself eventually in the fitness industry and in the classic physique category. And, uh, to be able to kind of learn and be mentored by him, that's just, it's just, it's a great, it's a great feeling. He's a great person. There's one thing that I do know is that with his help, I know that I'll end up becoming exactly where I want to be and succeed. And uh, there's no other coach that I'd rather work with. There's no other person that I'd rather have mentoring me. And it's been one heck of a journey, and I can't wait to continue it. Brian is a good friend of mine, so you know I was like, you know, let's get the, let's get the kid a shot. You know, he's 19 years old, and he had a really big frame on him to start with. He, you know, had a, something to work with. A lot of 19 year olds are just getting in the gym, trying to pack on muscle, and this guy already had it. So I was like, cool. Let me see, you know, how well I can stick to a diet for a little while. And you know, I wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to stick it out because most 19 year olds is can't stick to a program and don't have discipline to do it. So, you know, he tested it out the waters for a little while and the first couple months, you know, he just did everything I asked and he just, you know, he didn't really, he didn't, I wouldn't say bother, but he was, he was very responsive to the coaching. Like he just, he understood it, didn't ask too many questions, just did what I said and, and it worked, you know, he didn't, it wasn't, never second guessed anything. So, 
you know, we just started working together and we got him closer in touch and, you know, I just saw the transformation and saw how bad he wanted it. So, you know, the more he showed me he wanted it, the more I wanted to help him. You know, the fact that the map, the change we've made in the past, I would say six weeks have been insane. You know, even, I, I can't, I show your pictures to everybody all the time. Like, I'm just like, look at this kid. Like, it's, it's crazy to see how far you've come and to have done it the way you've done it, you know, completely natural. It's, just, it's, it's amazing that you've been able to accomplish it. And I'm proud of you for being able to do that. You know, and especially in an industry, it's tempting in so many different ways. But, you know, this is actually the first time in seven months that me and Chris actually met face to face. And I already feel like I know the kid. I mean, he keeps calling you kid, but, you know, I'm sorry. No disrespect. Yeah, but um, I feel like I already knew you. I can walk in and give him a hug because we talk almost every single day. We do talk pretty much every mm -hmm. single day. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's something that you, as a coach to clients, is really important because you have to have that relationship where you're comfortable with them. You want to talk to them. You know, clients that just bother me. And... I don't coach any of them anymore, so all you, my clients, I like you guys. But um, <laughs> but all I'm saying is, you know, I I I I I like to work with him. I, I feel good to help him. I want to help him, and you know, that's why we communicate so often. I'm making sure he stays on check, on track. You know, I'll hit him up. Hey, what's your weight this morning? Send me pictures over. Eat this, eat that. You know, he doesn't really know his diet from it's day to day, pretty yeah. much. You know, he's like, what do you want me to do? Do what you did yesterday. Okay, you're down a little bit. Okay, I want you to throw this in. Throw this in. Well, I'm at work. I can't eat that. All right, what do you got? You know, he's got yeah. that. We make it work. We figure out ways to to find out how to get his body where it needs to be, regardless of the situation. So, you know, we have a long road to go still. You know, like I said, he's just turned 20 years old not too long ago. So, the body's so young, and, and we got so much potential. You know, we're battling right now between deciding to go physique, classic physique. So, you know, we're gonna continue to grow the way we need to, and. Um, you know, we're going to see what happens in the next few months, but we're definitely planning, I think we're planning, you said May, right? Then to May or June? Yeah, something like that, yeah. To get on and see for the first time. So if it's classic physique or his regular physique, uh, we'll see. But I know he's going to come in conditioned and at his best. And he's going to shock a lot of people. And, um, you know, he's going to continue working hard. And, you know, I really enjoy working with you, man. It's fun to see how hard you work and see how much you change. You know, it motivates me to see, you know, because I was out of shape at the beginning of the year, too, and to see you get on, you know, I'm serious. You know, when I see you, how much you change, I'm, you know, it, regardless how long I've been doing it, it never gets old, never, it's never to see somebody else's results, it makes, makes you want to work harder. And regardless, you know, regardless of I'm coaching you, and I know watching your results, it makes me push myself, too. So we fuel off each other, and we help each other, and, you know, that's what it's all about. So long road ahead. <laughs> but, you know, this is what's going to be, and, you know, hopefully in the near future we get that IFBB Pro card and, you know, representing Team Buendia. So, Let's do it. like I said, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We killed chess today. Kid's strong, man. 20 years old, <laughs> repping that 315 on incline. So, bright future ahead of you, man. So, I'm excited, and we're going to get after it. Let's do it.